My name is Dan, and I'm here from the Salem Public Library today to talk to you about comics, why you might want to read one, and how to make one of your own. But before we get started, let's talk about a couple things. What is a comic? A comic is a series of pictures put in sequence, often to tell a story. When they're bound together in a book format like this, they're oftentimes referred to as graphic novels, and libraries are full of graphic novels. We have lots of comics, um, and you can find them on our shelves, and you can download them on Cloud Library. Uh, inside a comic, you will discover a couple different things. So you can see that there's pictures, and there's words. Some words tell us what the characters are saying, some words tell us what the character is thinking, and some words, like squawk and crunch, provide a soundtrack to what we're seeing. But there are comics that have no words at all, like this one, Owly, by Andy Runton. It has pictures in sequence, but no words, and it's still a comic. Comics have all sorts of stories. So, one of the things the comics are most associated with are superheroes. People like Batman, Spider-Man, and Wonder Woman. But those aren't the only types of stories that are out there in comic format. There are real-life stories like Smile, Sisters, and Guts by Raina Tegelmeyer. And these tell real-life events that happen in the life of the author. Comics can have all sorts of things. They can take you to a different world, they can have superheroes, they can have adventure, they can be funny, they can be scary. All sorts of things can be found in comics. When I was a kid, my mom would take my brother and I to the grocery store, and if we were well behaved, she would let us each pick out a comic from the racks that they had there at the store. At first, I really liked comics, funny comics, um, like Mad Magazine and Crack Magazine. Uh, I especially liked the Spy vs. Spy sections. Um, but later, I discovered superhero comics, and I fell in love with things like Spider-Man and Batman. Now, I read comics of all sorts, and um, even as an adult, I love comics of all types, and I especially love sharing my love of comics with kids like you. Today, we're going to learn how to make a 10-panel comic, but before we do, let's talk about a couple parts of a comic. The front page is oftentimes called the cover, and on the cover you almost always will find the main characters and some hint of what's going to be inside the comic. On the top you'll often have a text that has the title of the comic, and it too is a hint of what you're going to find inside. So let's take a look inside and let's learn about a couple parts inside a comic. The pictures are almost always broken up into little snippets, and each snippet is called a panel. The white space in between the panels is called the gutter, and in American comics, they almost always read from left to right, top to bottom. Inside each panel, you might have pictures, and you might have words. Those words will either be um, word balloons that tell you what the characters are saying, thought balloons, what the characters are thinking, or sometimes even narrator blocks.
time for you to make your story. Imagine your story. What type of story will you make? Will you have superheroes? Will it be a real life adventure? Will you have talking animals? Whatever you make, have fun, make some art, and share it with us when you're done. Thank you. Thank you.